Hello friends, welcome to my channel, or back to my channel as the case may be. Today we're up to day 44 of our 1001 tarot spreads. We will be using the Heaven and Earth tarot to do this reading. My goodness, this is rattling around a lot. We're going to take those out. We will be using the Heaven and Earth tarot to do this reading. And this one is a spread for identifying your bad fortune, your bad luck, and what to do about it. So why would you need a reading like this? Typically because you've had a string of bad luck. Some number of days in a row where things just haven't gone right, or you just have that nagging feeling in your back of the mind where there is some influence, something causing problems. So this is a four card spread. We're using the Minor Arcana for this one because we're looking for the, the earthly issues, not so much the overarching metaphysical issues. Card number one is what initially caused the bad luck. Was it a person? Was it a event? We're gonna figure that out with the cards. Card number two. How can we break the cycle of bad luck? Card number three, how can we attract good fortune instead? And card number four, what unexpected or outside force will help propel that good luck forward? So we're going to shuffle our cards and get into this. Okay. There was one. I always like shuffling twice and then like the, the dealer shuffle twice and then I kind of mix them in my hands for the last one. I don't know, just how I've done things. Wow, lots of reversals again, okay. So what initially caused the bad luck, card number one, we have the Princess of Cups. So in this deck, princesses correspond to knights in the traditional, well, I shouldn't say traditional, in the, the Rider Waite decks. Let's just look at these other cards real fast, too. Card number two is um, the Nine of Wands reversed. Then we have the Princess of Wands upright. And the Three of Pentacles reversed. So the fact that it's two princesses in this we're definitely dealing with young feminine energy, both that caused the bad luck and that will bring us out of it. So card number one is what caused it. Princess of Cups, young woman, not in control of her emotions. So if you happen to have someone like that in your life, that might mean that they're kind of gunning for you and doing things to cause problems for you, whether that's through magical or mundane means, because you can cause just as much damage by gossip as you can with curses. So don't, don't go gunning for someone just because they're magical and they're young. Think, think about it, process. Someone young someone impetuous. I'm betting it's more of a crossing rather than a cursing. Someone who just unloaded their emotional burden on you without your consent. Card number two is how to, wait. Yeah, card number two is how can we break this cycle of bad luck, which is the uh, Nine of Wands reversed. So Nine of Wands is typically great strength. It is, you have learned how to overcome things. In this case, it's going to be something small. It's a small action necessary to reverse this stint of bad luck. It might be as small as just reframing how you are looking at the issue. As human beings, what we look for tends to be the only thing we see. 
So if you're looking for all of the things that are causing bad luck, you'll just keep finding more and more bad luck. So try to reframe it into, well, that was just life. Don't apply malice to things that could have just been incompetence or that could have just been, they don't even know you exist. Think, think driving on the freeway. You can a assign a lot of malice to other drivers or you could just acknowledge they were having a bad day. They were late for work. They had this or that or the other. They might have had a screaming baby in the car seat behind them. Give people the benefit of the doubt. Look for the good rather than the bad, and that can help shift the luck. Card number three. Card number three, how can we attract good luck in its place? This is the Princess of Wands. Actually, it's interesting that both cards about breaking it and then encouraging good luck are both wands. Because this means they're both about intellectual things. They're both about your mental processes, not so much about your emotions, not so much about finances or about troubles. It's how you're looking at the situation. The Princess of Wands, she knows what she wants. She makes a plan and then she follows it. A, this is a young person, so if it's an external force that's coming in to help you, it's probably a young person who's full of energy and full of life. If it is you yourself who is making this change, look at the situation through fresh eyes. Look at it as if you were younger than you are. I don't care how old you are or how young you are. Look at it as if you were younger than you are. With a bit more hope. A bit more optimism. Card number four is what unexpected help is there out there? Which is the Three of Pentacles, which normally corresponds to uh, material work. In this case, being reversed, you're looking for something that's more either emotional, spiritual, intellectual. It's not so much something that you will be you're not going to be going out in the yard and, and chopping down a tree. The, this is not a manual work. This is a, a spiritual work for you to accomplish. There is outside spiritual help. If you haven't already, pray to whichever deity you interact with. Ask for their assistance. If you participate in any formal religion, consider getting help from the people at that institution. You don't have to go it alone. We are human beings. We are innately social creatures. Tap into those social resources and get some of those outside perspectives. This was reading number 44, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like, leave a comment. Do you agree with this interpretation of the cards? Do you disagree? Leave a comment, let me know. And until next time, walk in the light, my friends. Bye.